All right, we're going to talk about stance and start, and this is critical. We have to build a solid foundation to our game, and it all starts with stance and start. We cannot have wasted movement. We cannot have false steps in crucial moments. So it is essential that you do this every single day, and you take care of business, and that your stance and start never fails you in a big moment. All right, the way we're going to begin is just take a knee, align your back knee with your front heel. A lot of guys are too wide in their stance. This prevents that. Align your back knee with your front heel, and then stand straight up. This is about the proportion you want your feet to be apart in your stance. Okay, then I want you to lean forward. You want 80% of your weight on your front foot, 20% on your back foot. All right, you can see here with Christian, he's got a good little knee bend. His knee is over his toe. His chest is over his toe. Really good forward body lean. All of his weight is on his front foot, and this allows him to roll off that front foot with very little wasted movement. You should be able to pick your back foot up with no problem. All right, pick your back foot up, stay balanced, put it right back down, and you still maintain that 80-20 balance. Just a good test to make sure you have the right proportion. All right, one of the reasons that I'm, I'm making him stay in this stance so long, I'm walking around him, is to prove that he can live in this stance. He's so comfortable with his stance and start. He can live here forever. He's not falling over. He's not leaning over. you got to be comfortable here to give the quarterback time to make audibles, make changes at the line. You shouldn't be antsy to get out of this. Be comfortable, but then still be able to explode out when the moment's cold. As he rolls out of this stance, you can see it's pretty good. Pretty little wasted movement. Just a slight dip, but, but he's getting out of there. His first movements are forward. He's attacking. He's eating up space. As I'm giving you the basic fundamentals for what I think a good stance and start should be, you then have to make your own adjustments and find a position that's comfortable for you. Okay, I'm not the one getting in the stance and start. You are. I'm giving you the basis. Now you make small adjustments that make you feel comfortable. But no matter what adjustments you make, the two keys that remain is there's no wasted movement and you're, you're coming off the ball low to lower. Right? You're not raising your pads up. You're attacking, exploding out. No wasted movements, no false steps. But comfort is key here. And then transitioning on, I want to show you guys the progress I made with Jawan. These are workouts from his pre-draft process as a senior at Colorado. When I watched his film, the biggest thing I noticed was that he had a ton of wasted movement at the line, a ton of wasted movement in his releases, and it was preventing him from really getting into his routes. And we cleaned this aspect of his game up a lot, and it really just took everything to a different level because, again, his foundation was set, his foundation was solid, and then he could build his great game from there. But his game was a little broken when his foundation of the stance and start was broken. So this is a really good example of how important this is, even for the most elite players. Stance and start is the key to everything. And you can see here when he runs, he's popping up to that 45 degree angle, but he doesn't need to start so hunched over. Start in a comfortable position, you know, it's got to feel very natural to you where you're able to scan the defense, you're able to see what's in front of you, and you're also in a, in a physical position to explode off the ball efficiently. So this is a little bit better right here. Um, he's going to get more and more explosive as this workout goes on. But the key that I'm looking for is just no waste of movement. You're like here, like kind of shooting up, as much as like drive out. Remember that? that, that. So right there, I just got him. He was shooting up a little bit. His pads were raising up a little bit. I want him to drive out, low to lower. That's better there. Low to lower is the key point to think about. There it is. That's the one. There you go. Low to lower. How does it feel? Good? Just make sure it feels natural to you, regardless of anything I'm saying. Like, if it feels uncomfortable at all. And this is really a great point and an important point. Like, no matter what kind of things I'm trying to coach him on or correct, it's got to feel natural to the receiver. It's the, the receiver is the one who has to line up in this every single day and get into this stance every rep and, and fire off every time. So it better feel natural to him. I'm just looking for no wasted movement. I'm looking for explosion. I'm looking for efficiency. Um, and, then, and then it's on him to make it comfortable. There's, there's the first rep to the last one. You can see how much lower he's getting there. On the sidelines, we gotta hustle because we gotta eat. 